Hello Cancer, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well and thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. Please remember this is a general reading. It will not resonate with everyone. You can look at your moon and rising signs. These readings might suit you better. And we have destiny. So this is fated events, fated paths, fated people. Insecurity. So this is like the devil, the little devil on your shoulder saying to you you might not be good enough or you don't have what it takes here. Um, this could also be somebody that's making you feel like this. So we don't want to be around people like that. Recovery. So you're recovering from something that's been challenging here. It might be make, have made you a bit feel made you feel a bit insecure here, but it's to put you onto your destined path. So let's have a look here and see what's going on. Spirit, please show me clearly. If you're going through anything just now, you will recover from it. Please remember that challenges are all part of life's journey to get us onto the right path. And if we be, if we have a positive outlook towards what our blessings that we have in the present, the right people will show up. The right opportunities do start to show up for you. So let's see what the tar has got to say. Show me clearly, Spirit, what this is about. The Three of Pentacles. The Knight of Cups. The Nine of Swords, the Hermit energy, this is a uh, Virgo energy, you could be dealing with a Virgo or somebody with Virgo in their chart. The overall central energy is Leo energy, this is a Strength card. Tower moment, that's what I was feeling and sensing there with this reading, there is something you are recovering from or something that you're going through here. This is the Ace of Pentacles, uh, sorry, the Ace of Wands. The full card, beautiful, and the magician. Okay, so what we've got here in this this row of recovery is a tower moment. Now, a tower moment is anything you consider a tower moment to be. Now, it can feel very upsetting. It, it could be in any area of your life, and it can feel as if the rug's been pulled from under your feet here. So everything around is crumbling. But what's happened here is this is a blessing in disguise because you're not on the right path. Spirit steps in, the universe steps in and releases you from something that you're stuck in, that's holding you back, that where there's no growth, there's nothing happening. It's because you're on the wrong path here. So after the, the tower card comes the star card, which is heal and rejuvenation. Now, you will recover from this tower moment. It can feel, like I say, as if everything's crumbling and there could be a lot of worry and anxiety over this. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, I'm going to say unnecessary worry, and not because I'm not, I'm not being sympathetic. The reason I'm saying unnecessary worry is because it's not going to solve anything. Worry will not solve this. So we need to take a step back here, and we need to listen to our intuition, always. So don't worry about this. Please be assured it's making you feel insecure. It's causing a lot of worry in your life, a lot of upsets. It could be finances. It could be jobs, relationships, or environments. But uh, it'll be different for everybody. But don't worry about it. Take a step back now. Accept that this is all part of your journey to get you onto a better spiritual path. And what spirit is wanting for you here is they're wanting you to set new goals for yourself. So that is the point of this tower moment. So you can get onto this destined path. Now, when we talk about goals here, the universe is saying as above and so below. You've got the Midas touch. We all have the Midas touch. Our life's change direction because we are not doing what we're meant to be doing, we're not where we're meant to be. It's all that, well, when I say that, we're, we are where we're meant to be. But what I'm saying is we need to change things to get onto a more fruitful path. So what's happening is all part of the journey. It is meant to happen, but it's to get you thinking about your own happiness here. You need to be taking up more fruitful ventures here that is going to serve you better. So Spirit's saying this is the perfect time here for you to be setting new goals. As above, so below. You've got everything you need here to get yourself onto your destined path. So that's the purpose of this tower moment. So please be reassured that Spirit has got your back here. They have stepped in. They're working in the background here because they're seeing something that isn't working out for you or there's no growth for you in this the situation you're in. Now, they want you to take some time out here, and that's what I'm saying. It might be a walk, something, do something that grounds you. It's a very soul type energy. It might be a break, it might be a weekend away, but this is an energy where you're on your own so you can do your soul searching. And you will become enlightened. 
when you come away from the worry and the anxiety and you know when we're in this energy it's perfectly common in human to be like this uh, and totally acceptable we need to take time out to work through these emotions not suppress them but um you know things well, don't we can be putting our own endings on things. That's what I was going to say. We can be putting our own endings on things and we're expecting the worst here or we can't see the way forward. Take some time out on your own. Go away on your own and do the soul searching because Spirit's saying the knowledge is within you. It's not within your environment. The answers are not within your environment. So if it's an environment, a situation, a relationship, um, come away from it here. And do a bit of soul searching, being on your be on your own, and you will gain the enlightenment you need to go forward. You've got the knowledge, you've got the knowledge, you just need to connect in with it to get yourself up and running again. Now, this is going to take a lot of strength, and we're not saying it isn't. You're feeling very insecure, you're feeling very upset, anxious. There can be sleepless nights, there's different degrees of this nine of swords energy. But we're needing to be strong, and remember, we're always stronger than we give ourselves credit for. Because the way we gain our confidence, I always say this with this card, is that we think of everything we've been through and we've survived up till now. So you will get over this. You will recover from this cancer, most definitely. You've got the strength. You will be able to take that leap forward. Once you listen to your intuition and connect in with yourself, this is about taking that leap forward here, leap of faith towards your happiness. There will be movement, but you do have to take time out to connect in with yourself, to seek the answers. Now, this could also be somebody supporting you at this time. It could be a Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio energy. It could be a friend, a partner in life. It could be a family member. But having the right people around you to help with your insecurities at this time, the way you're feeling will definitely help. And this could be anybody that's got your back. So be around the right people at this time. Don't be around people that make you feel insecure. Um, come away. If it's a person that's made you feel insecure or environment, like I say, come away. And you will get the answers, you'll get the support, the people turn up, the universe is not abandoning you. People, the right people will turn up to help you take this leap of faith forward. Now, this leap of faith is starting from ground zero. So he's traveling lightly, he's not taking everything with him, he's not taking all his anxieties and his worries with him. He's traveling light because he's gained the enlightenment he needs. And he's thought about his happiness and he's thinking about his goals. And I'm saying he or she, it's not a gender-specific reading. I'm talking about the energies on the cards. So like I say, you know, your goals are attached to what your heart's desire is, what you're passionate about. Now, we need to think about that. And that's what spirit is wanting for you. And this is, aces are brand new beginnings. And this is a hand of spirit giving you, wanting you to take up new ventures that are more fruitful. Now, this could be anything you desire, anything you're passionate about. Setting a goal for yourself, taking that leap of faith forward, down a path where there's growth, excitement, passion for you in life. And that's what this reading is all about. And what happens here is because we're doing these things and we're listening to our intuition, following our heart chakra and we're passionate about things, we're getting back onto our destined path for the future where there's growth, uh, there's excitement, there's passion for life. Now, this is, can be teamwork. You could be working with one person or more here, a group of people. Depending on what this um, this Ace of Wands is for you, this could be a new house, a new home, estate agents, it could be financial, it could be work, it could be tutoring, it could be going back to education. Depending on what this is, you're working with one person or more to get onto this destined path, to lay the solid foundation for your future for growth. And this Three of Pentacles is a reward card. It's a card where your skills are being recognised, like I said earlier, spirit saying, You've got the Midas touch. Everything is correct. We all know you have got the strength. It is within you. And you've got the skills that's needed to lay the solid foundations. Now, this is a reward card. If you lay solid foundations for your future, it will stand the test of time. It is the opposite of this tower card. And that's what will move you towards happier times and happier people, the right people showing up to help you here. So your insecurities will go. And you will be rewarded for the hard work that you're putting in. And solid foundations, like I say, the opposite of this tower card, stands the test of time. And people are respecting you here. What you're bringing to the table, whether it be within a relationship, a financial uh, proposition, balancing finances, environments, you're being respected for the skills you have. So don't feel insecure. Don't feel you've not got what it takes here. This tower moment has happened to release you 
to enable you to take up brand new opportunities for growth and passion. Now, we will take a fairy message protection. Beautiful energy there, beautiful colours around you. The fairies of protection are shielding you with a magic fairy ring of love and light. Practice psychic protection before embarking upon any spiritual work. Now, the angels and the fairies, your, you know, your people in the spirit world are all supporting you at this time. You are actually on a journey towards recovery. Hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.